find some duty to attend to. Might I ask what brought you here? You mustn't cause a scene. That's one piece of evidence in hand. We might search for more, if you are so inclined, Master. Right you are. A crime committed here will see one confined to jail. I've heard that jailers are paid a pittance, despite the hardships of their work. Then a bribe might avail us, should the time come. You have my fullest confidence. To think that the proprietress of the Myrmacolian was plotting such a thing. Under normal circumstances, I would not overlook such a clear admission of murderous intent. But this is Allard we speak of. Of all the Queen Regent's sycophants, he possesses the greatest authority. This fall from grace would do much to further our cause. But where to find the evidence we seek? Perhaps the merchants he deals with possess aught that could serve us. Merchants with connections to Allard will reside in the merchant quarter. Though, they're not likely to divulge their secrets readily. Some piece of physical evidence would be far less easily refuted than mere testimony, I should think. Interesting. So Allard has been leveraging his position to line his pockets, right under the Queen Regent's nose. I doubt she will be happy to learn of this. Yes, this should be more than enough to disgrace him. However, it is not enough for me to condone his assassination. Of course. If your intent is not to kill him, but merely denounce him, then I will gladly assist you however I can. I see. Perhaps that would be best. Enlist in the aid of Regent King's friend. May shine light on aught we've overlooked. You have my fullest confidence. Mayhap. Regent King Sven's assistance would grant us some beneficial information. Hmm. This is a memorandum of Allard's. According to this, afore attaining his current status, he was in the employ of a merchant. And in order to claim the merchant's property as his own, he murdered the man and his wife, staging it as an accident. It is a grave affair indeed. Should this article prove genuine, I have every faith it would be sufficient to condemn him for all time. The deed was monstrous, and yet, considering my position, I am afraid I cannot condone the man's assassination. I know not the path I should follow. What is your intent going forward, Your Majesty? I beg your forgiveness, your majesty. Tis my duty to protect our country's people, Allard included. Villain though we may be, I cannot stomach the thought of this vigilantism. Tis naught more than murder. I must wash my hands of this matter. Know that I shall not speak a word of this to anyone, but nor can I aid you. Forgive me, your majesty. Tis a shame that you cannot count upon the captain's aid. You shall have to act with the greatest caution, Master. A disappointment, to be sure.
What the? We shall remain here. So, you've returned. I confess, I thought you might not. I was ready to settle things myself. Well, did you find what you were looking for? Thank you. I can't believe you found this. All that remains is to end that man's life with my own hands. I've no other tasks for you. This partnership of ours has come to a close. Unless you intend to see this through till the end. You're a curious one, aren't you? But what's just as curious... ...is that I can't bring myself to refuse you. All right, if you're offering your aid, then I'll gladly accept it. Come with me. Allard is in the room to the left. Go in and restrain him for me, would you? Never mind the mask. Consider it a charm of sorts. At last. Feels like an age has passed since... What is this? Who are you? Don't let him escape. I do not waste my... Get your hands off me, you fiend! Don't you know who I am? Oh, you hang for this impudence! Oh, Allard. I've always wanted to see you like this. Voice, Wilhelmina. But why? Why would you? Do you still fail to recall? Even with this mask staring you in the face. But I suppose for a man such as you, a little murder here or there, it's hardly worth remembering. What mockery is this? In your youth, you slew two individuals. The merchant whom you served, and his wife. They had a child, as I am sure you are aware. A newborn babe who was spirited away by her loyal wet nurse. You mean to tell me you were that child? But how can this be? Your mother, she was a beastrum. Surely her child would be one as well. Yeah, fair assumption. But for better or worse, I didn't take after my mother. Save for in one respect.
for my mother. And this is for my father. Time has come for all your sins to come to light, Allard. Mr. Allard, has something happened? We've been noticed. I suppose a scream that hideous was bound to attract some attention. We can't leave the way we came in. Fortunately, there's a window here. I think it would be best for us to make our escape separately. Should we both make it out of this unfettered, let us meet at the Myrmacolian on the morrow. Till then, be well. If that is your destination, we cannot follow. But know that your return is eagerly awaited. I grant your weapon a magical boon. When does my watch end? Battle is best avoided here.
Good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. I return safe and sound, and I dare say, wiser for my travels. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come. We've much to be getting on with. A new day, a new perspective. to do today. We shall await you here, Master. You have done what you set out to do, I trust. Then come, Master. Let us quit this place. I am well aware of the particulars. No, you're...
suppose we might as well gather what we can. Finally achieved my purpose here, and I owe it all to you. It would seem the residents of the palace have chosen to treat Allard's untimely passing as an accident. I imagine they deemed it safer not to make a fuss of the incident after perusing the evidence you uncovered for me. Shrewd as a den of foxes. <laughs> I'll give them that. I truly cannot thank you enough. But... I want to try. Just this once, I'll give you something special. I'll grant unto you the sweetest of dreams. I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will e'er be your haven, should you have need of it. Over here, if you would. went as well as we might have hoped. The You're here. You must come see. Look there. New buds. The Arbor Heart is recovered. 
And as she and I are as one, I feel renewed myself. You saved her. I will never forget this debt of gratitude as long as I live. The Alberhart seems gladdened to have new life in her bowels. It is joyous to behold. Fortunate I am that we crossed paths. Perhaps we can uh, journey outside the arbor together again someday. Have you any new tidings to share? All is well, thanks to you. Perhaps we can journey outside the arbor together again someday. Non li attilmo. Yarmen ran soron. Our packs are heavier, and our purse. A kayel fil kalo a rume fire in Itarond, a tel.
Dahlia Noon. Where? Been in tight. Non li atilmo. And the wind fell no. Alana fir en mine. Ele lotte osto silfa malantha alecano mine in fe. They feel arrang. So here of Molis. Where Herua, Ul to Ail. Hermen. Alana fear in mine. Alan Oxford in town. I fear I shall lose sight of you if you go much further. This food's gone rotten. I'd best dispose of it and free up some space in my pack.
Master, I discovered a treasure chest hereabouts during my last journey beyond the rift. Shall I guide you to it? I appreciate you carrying our heavy items, but do let me know if you need a hand. Oh, pay me no mind. It is one of a servant's many privileges to be entrusted with such articles of value. Is a glad thing we rested when we did. We must not let down our guard. Who's there? Who's there? Let me get that. We ought to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. Be sure to keep your wits about you. While the owner's attention is fixed on its favorite prey. Do hurry.
trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. We were very thorough. Whatever secrets this place held ought to be ours now. Let us make for a safe location where we might regain... Our strength. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. There's a cave in the vicinity that you've yet to explore. I can take us there, using knowledge I gained beyond the rift. Really now, what are you doing? Do be mindful of your surroundings.
again. Is a chest. I shall take a look inside. I grant your weapon a magical boon. Well done, Master. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. Hey, shall we proceed into the depths? Narrow passage is never us. By your leave, the arisen has been drenched! Obstacle blocks our way. Perhaps we might remove it by force. If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aim. Might I be of assistance? We can travel wheresoever we please. Tis not an item to be squandered.
Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting in regions. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Walls are too close for comfort here. Should we encounter trouble, we would be at a disadvantage. Let us proceed with caution. Eyes peeled, ears pricked. my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. is rather high. It might be beyond our reach. Master, I believe I could be of aid here. Might I be of assistance? Where there's a way in, there's a way out. I knew we'd put that cave behind us. Such dark depths take their toll on the spirit. Indeed, you are correct.
come out now. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. 